All right. So uh, for this problem, we know that uh, we have an object and uh, uh, so there is a horizontal force acting on this uh, object F1 and there is gravity F2 and there is normal force F3. Okay. And uh, F1, we know the, F, the magnitude of F1 is uh, 20 newtons. And uh, the mass of the object is uh, 3 kilograms. And uh, so for part A, we want to find out uh, the work done by the three forces. So, yeah, and also the displacement is uh, uh, x equal to 0.5 meters. And the angle for this ramp is 30, ang 30 degrees. So, the work done, that done, uh, the work done by the horizontal force, uh, W1, is uh, F1 times the horizontal displacement, which is uh, 0 0.5 times cosine 30 degrees. Okay, so F1 is 20 newtons. So this gives you 8.66 joules. And W2, which is the work done by the second force, which is the gravity, so F2 times 0 0.5 times sine 30 degrees. However, in this case, because the object is moving up and F2 is pointing down, they're opposite, so basically this is negative. And you will see that this is equal to negative uh, 7.35 joules. And the work done by the third force, which is normal force, is zero, because it is, a, it is proportional to the displacement. So the total work is uh, the summation of the, three, of the three work, which equal to uh, 1.31 joules. And for part B, we want to find out the final velocity of the object. So, because initially there is no any kinetic energy, so the work is simply equal to the final kinetic energy, V squared. And we can solve for the V, equal to 0 0.935 meter second. 